Alright guys, so the new fusion characters are now available on DokkumBattleBuilder.com and I want to go over a little bit of like linking buddy slash team building over here with you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and talk about it. We're going to talk a little bit about the cards just because I know in the first review that I did, it was when we were getting information, it was like crappily translated through Google Translate. So we're going to go ahead and talk about some of the cards real quick. Um, I have them over here. Uh, first one, Rebirth of Father and Son, Bar a lot, Leader Ability, Strength Key plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 70% when HP is 30% or above, Greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy, uh, Passive Skill, Attack and Defense plus, uh, well, Attack plus 15%, Defense plus 10% per Key Orb obtained, so it becomes a Nuker slash Defender when he gets enough Orbs, and it's per Key, not specific uh, to a type. Um, Link Skill, Saiyan Warrior Race, Family Ties, Saiyan Pride, Fuse Fighter, Saiyan Lineage, Experience Fighters, and Shattering the Limit. Max stats of HP of 9021, attack of 8095, and defense of 4531, and a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Overall, not a bad card. He doesn't really have a place on a mono strength team, just because he's really not good for heroes. But um, he could find a place on a fusion team. I'm pretty sure he's part of the fusion dance category. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is the Weirus. Now, Weirus is really good in his own right. Uh, so, leader ability, physical IP plus 2, attack and defense plus 60%, super attack, sphere of destruction, supreme damage to the enemy, and greatly lowers attack. Passive skill is really unique. Tech and intelligence orbs are now changed to physical and attack and defense plus 50%. So he's super useful. He doesn't hit super hard, but he hits hard enough. And he changes two types to one type. Now, before I go into the team building, I did want to state, because I know a lot of people have mentioned this. I just figured I'd tell you all myself. Uh, he does do really well on an LR Gohan team because he's taking two different types and making it one type. And as you know, LR Gohan gets two key orbs per standard key orb obtained. And in the intelligence, he gets three. So, I mean, um, this kind of sucks because it removes the intelligence aspect of it. But if you're running them together, Gohan will always be able... Well, not always, I don't want to say always, but depending on your lineup of orbs, he should always be able to get the super attack off be with this guy on the team. Now, I wouldn't keep him right next to Gohan because you're going to want the, the actual link buffs. But you can keep him off rotation every once in a while. He, he will come around and he'll make it easier for Gohan to get the super attacks off. Anyway, link skills are Godly Power, Connoisseur, The Innocence, Brainiac, Shocking Speed, Fuse, Fighter. <clears throat> Max stats are HP of 85-20. Attack of 8421 and defense of 4464. And he has 12 key multiplier of 135%. Um, and then the next one we're actually going to do an in-depth one on is the Villainy of Fusion, Saliza. Uh, so leader skill is key, intelligence, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 60%, super attack, supreme damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense, passive skill, attack and defense plus 70% at the start of the turn, high probability of 10% HP recovery, and high probability of attack plus 30%. Um, not bad at all. Uh, attack and defense plus 70% at the start of the turn, he's a truck and he's a tank. So that works really well, and then a high probability of re uh, health regeneration and attack increase. Really, really nice. Uh, link skills, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Shocking Speed, Prodigies, Big Bad Bosses, and Fuse Fighter. Not really great for the Link skills. He does have Nightmare, which is really relevant, and Big Bad Bosses, which are two really relevant links on a uh, villain's team. Shocking Speed, which is a decent Link skill, and Fuse Fighter, which is really good for a fusion team. Max stats of HP of 8705, attack of 9235, and defense of 3354. Uh, 12 key multiplier for 130%, 35%, I'm sorry, 135%. Not horrible, not great. If you get him, he's a really cool character to have. Um, I did just want to talk about the Tarble real quick. So he is available um, from the Yo Son Goku and his friend's return event. Um, he is available from Stage 2, Brotherly Reunion, and you can get level 3 medals in order to Doken Awaken him to his SSR variant. The pure Saiyan Tarble. Uh, Supreme damage the allies, changes strength, to agility, orbs, and attack plus 20%. Overall, really decent for a key orb changer. So keep that in mind if you guys want to, if you guys are lacking good key orb changers. Um, I'd go with him if you uh, just grab him because, I mean, hell, why not? Free key orb changing, right? You need that manipulation sometimes, especially if you have a Majin Vegeta. This might come in a little bit handy. You know me, I prefer type to type over anything else. Um, but uh, you also have the ability to get the fused red rampage level the uh, wacky jackpot go tanks now, this feeds into all the other go tanks i'm not going to go over them here because we're got still have to do team building and i'm four minutes into this <laughs> um he does supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense not bad for free to play card ssr at uh, base when you get him uh pass the skill attack and defense plus 50 percent when super attack is launched not bad at all not great but for a free to play character with ssr off the bat with supreme damage that's really nice uh link skill saiyan warrior race saiyan lineage innocent shocking speed infused fighter i'm not gonna go too in depth with the rest of it um so he's really cool and he's gonna be really really useful on a fusion steam and his leader ability is Fusion Dance Category, Key plus 2, H uh, HP and Defense plus 20%. No attack buff there, but you know what? If you don't have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and you want to run that team, at least you're getting additional key to run alongside it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and talk about a little bit of uh, linking, linking skills, linking buddies. 
First off, they all do link with each other, obviously, because they're all different. Well, most of these guys are fusions. Uh, this is not that. But, um, <laughs> uh, so essentially they do link well, well with each other, and there's no translation to English here. I guess it's already tra translated, and some things just can't get translated. Brain faction. Anyway, um, we're gonna go take, talk about Barlot. First off, the Barlot, obviously, he links well with the Bardocks over here. Um, four link skills with the Super Saiyan Intelligence bar, uh, Bardock. Then you have the Technique Base Form bar, Bardock, which is the Saiyan Roar one, I believe it is. The one that transforms. And then the Agility one that's specific to Japan. Shares five link skills with him. Um, really, really useful there. He does share a lot of link skills once you go to three links. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just try to keep this SSR and higher. But even then, he is sharing a hell of a lot of links with a whole bunch of people. So if you guys are looking for a team, I really recommend you just coming over here and going to DokenBattleBuilder.com, throwing him on there with some of your with some of your team members that you have to see who he actually links with. Um, we could take a look and see on a Mono Fusions team because as of right now, there is, I mean, a mono fusion, a mono strength team because there's no fusion category to sort by. So on a mono strength team, obviously uh, Fasha he'll link well with the strength Bardock. He actually links really well with. It's kind of funny he doesn't link well with his um, TUR variant. That's odd. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, Fasha's that he links well with. Then the Go Tanks he links well with the Kaba, which is a support unit, and Raditz and um, Go Tanks. So overall, not bad. He has some good linking buddies. Again, this is not going to be an ideal team on a mono strength team, but you can run him. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is the Weirus. Now, Weirus, he links well with obviously all the Beeruses and all the Weeses. Um, uh, actually, yeah, he does. There's the other Weese. So the TUR Weeses, he links, um, I guess, a little bit better with because of the different link skills um, of, I guess, the... Um, what is it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. He doesn't have the, the actual shocking speed or the rebirth link. Um, but this Luis over here, that's not it. He links really well with the physical Whis, which I know kind of sucks, but on a mono physical team, yeah, you might want that to happen if you don't have a lot of good characters if you're just starting out. The SR physical Whis on a mono physical team, he gives brain, well, attack and defense plus 10% up for brain faction, a, sho a sh shocking speed, astonishing speed, astounding speed. Uh, key plus two, gourmet, 5% HP recovery, and God's Dimension or Godly Power, attack plus 15% up, whatever that one is. Uh, so he links really well. That's a 25% increase just for those two linking together, and HP recovery and key. So overall, these two do really well on a mono physical team. He links well with Champa as well on a mono physical team, so keep that in mind. And then any of the Beers as in Wii he will link decently with. He also links well with all the base form Goten, which is really odd. So if you think about it, uh, Beerus, Wii's, Champa and base form Gotenks, he links very, very well. So like I said earlier in the video, he does do really well on an LR Gohan team just because he changes all those orbs for LR Gohan. So make sure you go ahead and throw him on there if you have him to help Gohan get those attacks off. Unless you have something else going, if you have a different game, game plan going with that, you can do that as well. But he will help Gohan hit a lot harder. So the next one we're going to talk about is the Saliza, and he is a really decent character overall. On the Mono Intelligence team, he actually links really well with Janemba. Unfortunately, there's no HP recovery with him. Um, so you have Nightmare and Cruelty, which is attack plus 20% between the two of them, and then you have Big Bad Bosses when HP is 80% or below. Attack and Defense plus 25%, so that's 45 total, and Shocking Speed, so keep plus two. So if you have him, that's someone who you can link very well with. Um, outside of that, I believe this Strength for Janemba, so the base form Strength Janemba, he does like the um, uh, SSR variant, he links well with, actually I think this is the Doken, okay, I think this one is the Doken variant, um, anyway, the TUR he links well with as well, uh, on a mono physical, I mean a mono physical, on a mono, monocle, on a mono uh, extreme team, he links well with Janemba, so he's actually really Janemba's friend in any of these scenarios, as I can see, you can see all the different Janembas here, uh, so keep that in mind, and he links well with the Intelligent Vegeta. The, he is the Intelligent Support character for Extreme, so he's going to link well with him as well. So he actually is really clutch on a mono villain intelligence team. So keep that in mind. Um, outside of that, uh, he I guess he, he does have a lot more linking skills, uh, linking buddies, but we have to drop it down to three key link skills, and then he has a hell of a lot. Uh, almost all these guys, yeah, I'm pretty sure all these guys are villains. There may be one um, hero in here amongst all of them. I just don't see any off the top of my head, but he links really well with a lot of the villain cards. So again, if you're looking for more of uh, specific to what you're trying to team build with, come in here and take a look and see who he links with, but he links a lot with three key. That's why I usually do with the four key links. Um, and once you do the four key links, it's a little bit easier to see who you better. Um, now we're going to talk about the free-to-play ones. Well, we're going to have to go ahead and refresh the page with 
Gotenks. So we're going to go ahead and jump over here with the Tarble. Tarble has some really decent links as well. Um, not as many relevant characters that, that there is. Um, so on a Mono Heroes team, I guess he would be decent. Um, that, that's why I said he's really only good for his key changing ability. Um, four and three link skills. I mean, this is this is pretty much, let's see. Yeah, this is everyone SSR or higher with four or with three or higher link skills. The fact that he doesn't have a lot of them to choose from kind of goes to show you that he's not really a great character for linking. Um, so this is the free-to-play Trunks. He links well with free-to-play Vegeta. Uh, this is the Gotenks base form, which uh, I guess that's cool. You can link with. Uh, this is the Vegeta from the World Tournament. Uh, so he's technically free-to-play. I guess you could say that. Um, and then the rest of these guys that he links with are Trunk. So he links well with the two, three Trunkses that are not free-to-play. And the one Gotenk, which is a fusion character, obviously. Uh, well, not obviously. He's not a fusion character. He came out with the fusion. Um, so, uh, overall, that's really who he links with. He's not really great for linking, maybe on a Mono Heroes team. But, he, like I said, his passive skill is more suited for an agility team because of the key orb manipulation. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Um, outside of that, let's go ahead and take a look and see if this last one actually loaded. So, we don't we, we already did the Lisa, and this one is horrible. So we are going into the Go Tanks linking buddies now. So obviously for so for the four uh, links uh, slots, he only links really well with the skinny tanks and the fat tanks. Now we really don't want to you know talk about them, but when you drop it down to three, he has a hell of a lot of linking buddies. So trying to tell you he's going to link really well is really difficult. Um, <clears throat> I would say again, come on here and do a little bit of team building for yourself. But he links well with all, obviously, the fusion characters. So any of the Super Saiyan Go tanks, Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks. Um, actually, I don't see Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks on the list. Really odd. So Super Saiyan Go tanks, base form Vegito, Ultimate Gohan, um, and some of the fusion characters. It looks like he links really well. So go on in there, and you can do what you, whatever you want on this team to find out uh, who he links better with. And, you know, um, build a good team based around it. But overall, guys, that's who these characters are. They are some decent links. They're not really top tier characters at all. I'd say they're they're B. Well, some of them are B rank. Like uh, the, the Barlot would probably be a B rank, and the Weirs, depending on what you're trying to run, would be B rank. I could see you making him a priority if you're running him on an LR Gohan team, but not too much. Um, I still give him a B rank. Uh, Saliza on a Mono Intelligence Extreme team is the only time I could actually see him being super viable. Um, or if you just want to run him on a villain's team because he does have some decent link skills, I guess. But overall, um, I'd still give him a, a B tier. He's not going to be someone primary you're going to want to run. Uh, unless you're la lacking good extreme intelligence units. Uh, and obviously Tarble and the Skinny Go Tanks, or not the Skinny Go, the, the Go Tanks from this event. These two are more just free-to-play characters that you could run on any of the... Uh, like the LR Goku event or the Freeze event, if you don't have good cards for that, um, or specifically for this character, uh, Tarble, if you're if you need a key orb changer, and this character, if you don't have uh, Vegito, oh sorry, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and you want a, someone to have as a leader to give some stat buffs while you're running that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I appreciate you taking the time to stop by and watch the video. Um, I, I'm going to be doing the, the, the Korra summons uh, for now on. I'm a little bit upset. I'll be doing a full like video on that. But I'm a little bit upset that they never actually changed uh, the banner to include like Sin Shenron, you know, uh, the new physical Omega. Anyway, thanks for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you are new, and I'll catch you guys later.